What's up, family? It's Jason Robel here from jasonrobel.com and the J. Rowe Show. And you know what? I'm Gaga for Garbanzo. You guys may have seen my video I did with Eco Vegan Gal, Healthy Vegan Cheapskates, Extreme Healthy Vegan Cheapskates, where we ate a lot of beans, especially garbanzo beans. And you know what? I've been missing my garbanzo friends. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a quick, easy, and super healthy Greek garbanzo bean salad with a ton of fresh, raw, vegan ingredients, super healthy oils, and all the freshy, fresh taste you come to know and love from Dejero. So without any further ado, let's begin assembling our Greek garbanzo bean salad. So we are starting with our base, what we have here is organic fresh romaine lettuce. You guys could use any kind of greens you want. You could use red leaf lettuce, butter lettuce. Uh, if you wanna get spicy up in here, you could use arugula. In this case, I'm going very basic and old school with some organic romaine. Now, I did the romaine separately because what I wanna do is assemble all the other ingredients in a mixing bowl by themselves so they have time to, you know, get poisonal with each other. So in a separate mixing bowl, what I want you guys to add is one can, or if you wanna make fresh garbanzos, that's fine too. Today, it's a quickie quick, so I opened one can, one 15 ounce can of organic garbanzo beans, right to your mixing bowl. Next up in our salad, I have three diced stalks of organic celery. And then of course, any Greek salad worth its salt, but I'm, has got to have some fresh diced tomato. So here we've got one medium sized, fresh, ripe, juicy, plumpy, yummy tomato for our salad. Now typically this recipe is gonna take you guys about 15 minutes from the start to finish with all the chopping and prep in between if you're a medium to fast chopper. Moving on to our next ingredient, we have three tablespoons of minced fresh parsley and two and a half tablespoons of minced fresh mint. Now if you guys are using dried, since dried herbs are much more powerful and potent, and perfunctory, all those three Ps, you wanna add less, probably about half as much if you're using the dried version of these herbs. Next up, we have some diced green Greek olives. If you guys wanna use black olives, purple olives, whatever suits your fancy on the olive tip, feel free to do that. In this case, we have maybe about four to five tablespoons worth of diced olives. Then we gotta add a little bit of tanginess and spice to the mix. So right here I have three finely, finely minced scallions. Now for all you garlic lovers in the house, we have three mm, crushed cloves of garlic. And then of course we have to have some sort of dressing in the mix. In this case, we're gonna be doing it really, really light today just to help bring out all of those dynamic flavors in our Greek garbanzo salad. So we've got some fresh organic lemon. Let's squeeze in about three tablespoons worth. Okay, so we're talking Greek, you guys. I have to tell you briefly about my favorite olive oil on the planet. This is a Greek organic extra, extra virgin olive oil called Rallis, R-A-L-L-I-S. It is from Greece and it's extra, extra virgin because it's ice pressed. It's a whole new classification, it's super healthy, super enzymatically active and rich authentic raw olive oil beyond extra virgin, extra extra, like it's wearing two chastity belts instead of one. And I gotta tell you guys, it's the best tasting, most dynamic and energizing olive oil I've ever used. Sexy bottle, even sexier oil. We're gonna put maybe about two to three tablespoons over our Greek salad. Next up, we're gonna be adding a healthy pinch of our Himalayan crystal salt, which is super high in essential minerals and will help bring out all of our flavors. Then we're gonna add some fresh ground black pepper. And then last but certainly not least in our Greek garbanzo salad mixture, we're gonna be adding some feta. They're like, J-Ro, you're using feta? Well, I can tell you this tastes like feta, smells like feta, but this is a vegan plant-based version made with organic soy. And you can find this at most markets uh, around town, depending on where you live. You can also Google this. But what I like to do is take about a quarter to a half cup worth, that's usually a, a half of a hockey puck size, and just take your hands and crumble it right over the bowl. I'm going to reserve a little bit of the feta for the plating. You know, you gotta make it pretty for y'all people to look at, and for Instagram, of course. So I like to reserve maybe a couple tablespoons worth of the feta and put it to the side. Okay, so now it's time to get everyone assembled. So. I want to mix my Greek garbanzo salad before I put it over the bed of romaine where it's going to sleep 
So let's grab a wooden spoon and uh, give this a quick stir. Okay, so grab your fanciest bowl, which literally this is my fanciest bowl, and grab a little handful of romaine lettuce. So let's get a nice heap and helping of our garbanzo salad mixture here. Now let's take the feta that we've reserved and just crumble some nice chunks over the top to make it look pretty. That's a good looking garbanzo salad, y'all. So what do we have left to do? You know what time it is. It's time to take it to the face. Now the only challenge when you have a salad with this many ingredients is getting everything on one forkful. In fact, maybe I should invent like the six or seven pronged fork just to allay this problem in the future. You know, it'd be a good idea. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is delicious. You have the salty cheesiness of the feta. You have the, the protein richness of the garbanzo beans. The really, really dense olives, the fresh tomato, all these great ingredients, super light, super refreshing. It takes 15 minutes or less to make. And again, you have a ton of protein and a ton of your daily fiber in here. This Greek garbanzo salad is gonna be a new favorite in your kitchen. I guarantee it, baby. So guys, if you dug my Greek garbanzo bean salad, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. What's your favorite Greek recipe? Have you guys ever had Greek food? Are you a, fa are you a fan of spanakopita or maybe gyros or uh, tzatziki sauce? Tell me in the comments below and I will try and make a version on the show for y'all. I appreciate it. Okay guys, so this is Jason Andrew Robel, AKA j Ro, representing here with the Sun Warrior Tribe. You guys subscribe to their channel, check them out. They're on all the social media networks. I'm a proud ambassador using their amazing superfood products and doing vegan raw superfood recipes here for you. Also check me out on the j Ro Show. It's Jason Robel TV on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the flip side. So that we ride, ride on the flip side, uh, ride, ride on the flip side. I gotta take care of this.